Hi, it's Alyssa Weinzimmer, founder of Voice Body Connection, and it is time for another How to Warm Up video. How to warm up. <laughs> In today's how to warm up video, we are going to release shoulder, neck, and jaw tension. Yes, you are welcome. Let's go ahead and dive in. So take your right hand and you can either do heel of your hand and fingers to grab onto the top of your left shoulder, or if it's better, you can do thumb and your fingers, whatever feels right for you. Grab on to the top of that trapezius muscle like you're really trying to give it a good squeeze and then let your left hand hang by your side. Now circle that shoulder up and around, moving forward, up, back, and down as you do it. Now why do we do it in this direction? Because it is very common for us to go into some version of a slouch or forward head situation. So it opens up the front of our chest to work in this direction and to release the shoulders both back and down. So do this circling for about 30 seconds as you go around. It might be a little bit painful, you might get a little bit of a crickle crackle, but just be continuous with your pressure and gentle at the same time. And then once you've spent about 30 seconds, let that go, wiggle out both sides, see how you feel on one side versus the other. Any difference? Chances are there will be some difference, it's working. Let's do the other side. So slightly lift up that left shoulder, reach across, or I'm sorry, the right shoulder, reach across with your left hand, and then squeeze and circle. Ah, very nice. Now, another important thing to say about this exercise is that you don't want to squeeze so, so hard or work so hard at this exercise that you're trying to release tension with the quality of tension. That won't work. That'll just perpetuate the tension after all. So go ahead and be gentle and easy as you do this exercise. Okay, good. Let that go. Wiggle it out. How do you feel on both sides? Ah, maybe let out a sigh, and then we will move up to the neck. So for this next part with the neck, we're going to interlace our hands with our thumbs hanging down, and we're gonna bring that around to the back of our head, which is the suboccipital muscles right underneath the occiput, which is where we hold a lot of our neck tension. Let me just spin around and show you exactly where I mean. So I'm basically right below the hairline, digging my thumbs in right there underneath my skull. So dig your thumbs in on either side of your spine there, and then gently rest your head back into your hands, and now you're going to just very easily nod your head up and down. You're moving your head on the axis, which is actually the second vertebra in your spine. The axis is like a bobblehead vertebra. It can move in all directions. So you're not actually moving in a full range of motion, just gently up and down on the axis vertebra. And you can go up and down gently as you dig your thumbs in here. And then you can also go side to side oh and chances are that these muscles are relatively tight especially when we start to crane our neck forward even slightly these muscles have to grab and hang on for dear life to keep your very heavy head on top of your shoulders as an extra bonus if you want to you can slowly move your thumbs about an inch down one inch down at a time and work your way all the way down the back of your neck doing this exercise. All right, so we've gotten the back of the neck. Let's move on to the jaw. So something to know about your masseter muscle, which is your big jaw muscle, is that it is the strongest muscle in your body in terms of pounds per square inch. So it is really, really powerful. It can exert a lot of force. And those of us who grind our teeth at night or have a lot of jaw tension know this implicitly. So let's go ahead and release that tension. You're going to bring your fingers to your jaw, to the masseter muscle. You can test right where it would be most intense and the tightness would be intense and also the strength by clenching your jaw, seeing where it bulges. Right there, do little circles gently on your jaw. Again, I'm moving up and back, which is really, really helpful for those fibers of the masseter muscle to release. So I'm circling forward, up, down, and back on the muscle. And something very important as well is to let your jaw and your tongue be loose while you do this. So you can imagine having Novocaine face, as we'll call it, okay? Good. And then after you do that spot, I wanna also bring you to a spot that isn't 
intuitively related to the jaw, but it is actually very related. It is your temporalis muscle, which is a big clam-shaped muscle up above your ears. And if you put the flats of your hands along your temples and along your hairline and clench your jaw, you can feel that that bulges too. So that's actually very involved. Those two muscles help you compress and open the jaw. So bring your fingers to that spot and do circles up and back in this spot as well. Oh my goodness. Yes, very good. Very nice. And let your jaw and your tongue hang loose as you do this. Now, extra bonus points if you want to on these two jaw exercises, you can give continuous pressure in the spots and then gently open and close your jaw. And if you do that, just really think about opening your jaw down and back in a rotational movement, no more than two finger widths to open. Uh-huh. Gently, gently reprogramming the movement of the jaw so it can happen easily. You can do the same thing on your temporalis. Trying to make that motion really smooth. Good, and then just for extra good measure at the end, this is a way I like to finish that feels really nice. Take your hands in between your hair to your scalp and move your scalp around on your skull. Ah, this is very nice. I think that sometimes when we think too hard, our scalp actually adheres to our skull and this helps us just release that tension. Ah, shoulder, neck, and jaw release. Now, before we wrap up this video, I will say that I have this categorized as how to warm up as a sound exercise because it really does release all the stuff right around the voice box. But that being said, it's a body exercise too. So do this towards the beginning or in the middle of your exercise sequence and then start making sound as you do it or right afterwards. So even if you just wanted to go, <sighs> and just let out some really easy fluffy sound as we'll call it. I talk about that in the sound that feels true to you exercise. So you can combine those two things, make a little bit of sound, release the jaw, release the neck, release the shoulders. Enjoy, I hope this brings you freedom and ease. It's very important. I would say work it in daily if you can, and I will see you in a future How to Warm Up video. How to warm up. <laughs>